Okay guys, welcome to tutorial number seven. Now, I would say that please continue watching this video if you have a fair knowledge of JavaScript closures and the problem they create when used inside for loops. But if you don't, please feel free to skip to the next video and revisit this at a later point in time. Okay, so, okay, let's get started. Let's say we want to display them the numbers one to five. Now this can be easily done with a for loop. So we have a for loop where variable i is equal to one, i less than or equal to five, i plus plus. And then we just console.log i. Now let's save this. And when the browser is refreshed, we have one, two, three, four, five. Pretty simple. Now let's say we want to display the numbers after one second and for that we are going to be making use of the set timeout function. So set timeout and this is going to take two parameters. The first one is going to be a function. So function and the second parameter is going to be the time. So we're going to pass 1000 milliseconds or one second. And this is going to be inside the fu uh, function. So we are logging console.log. And this right here is going to go below set timeout. Okay. So we are calling set timeout for every variable i equals 1 to 5. And we're going to log on to the console after one second. So let's save this and see what happens. Now you see that the output is six and that is repeated for five times. Now we usually expect the output to be one, two, three, four, five. Why did we get six uh, printed out five times? Now this problem occurs because we are passing the reference to the variable i and not the actual value at the moment inside each loop. So by the time the set timer function is executed, the for statement is already executed and incremented to the value six, which is when um, the loop is going to fail or it's, it is the exit condition for this for loop, i equals six. Now to achieve the desired result, we need to use an ify or immediately invoked function expression. However, a simple way which ES2015 provides is to use the let keyword. So you can simply replace var with let and when you refresh it after one second you have one two three four five uh, which is the desired result. So while dealing with closures in loops please make use of the let keyword it is very important and it's completely fine if you didn't follow uh, this particular uh, particular tutorial you can you can go back to JavaScript, read about closures, read about ifs or immediately invoked function expressions, and then come back to this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.